Hello everyone. Welcome to Teacher's Help Board. A topic for today is My Family and Home. What makes a family? A family consists of a mother, father and their children. In some families, there are grandparents too. The number of people in a family may differ. We are born in a family. We grow up and are brought up by our parents. Our family provides us with food, clothing and shelter. They also take care of us. There is affection among family members. Family members help one another in times of difficulties. They take care of us when we fall ill. Affection means a feeling of love towards somebody. Children, now let's learn about the types of families. There are two types of families. Small families and extended families. Small family means where there will be only mother, father and children. Extended family means there will be mother, father, grandparents, cousins, auntie, uncle etc. So now we will see the families in detail. First we will see about small families and big families. Some families consist only of parents and one or two children. Such families are called small families. But some families consist of parents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters and cousins. Such families are called big families. Extended family our family is linked with many other relatives too, like aunt and uncles from the mother's or father's side. Their children are all related to our family. Such a family is called extended family. Family tree with an example of Rehana's family. A family tree. Rehana, who is in the third standard, was looking at a photo album of the people in her house. While looking at snapshots of birthdays and weddings, she found some familiar faces, but some of the faces were unfamiliar. Some face appeared again and again in the album. Rehana asked her mother, Who are all these people? Her mother said, They are all our relatives. Your aunt, uncles, grandparents, you can see them all in these photos. Rehana asked her mother to explain it to her in detail. Rehana's mother then drew a diagram for her. Grandmother, Grandfather, Aunt, that is Father's sister, Uncle, that is father's brother, mother, father and their children Rehana, Salim, uncle, aunt, uncle is father's brother, aunt is father's brother's wife and their children Sahil, Sanya. This is the family tree of Rehana's in a family generations follow one after the other over a period of time. They can be shown on the family tree. Next we will see about the changes in the family system. The family system has changed as time goes by. As a result there are two types of family system that has formed. That is joint family system and nuclear family system. We will learn in detail. First we will see about joint family system. At one time grandparents, aunt, uncles, parents, siblings and cousins all lived together formed one big family. This was called a joint family. Nuclear family system when some members of a family move away because of jobs and they live separately, 
such smaller families are called nuclear families next we will learn about our household chores children you might have seen your mother doing some household work which is also known as household chores for example storing water cooking and cleaning are chores that needs to be done in a family every day when there is any occasion or any function in the house we welcome and entertain our guest our family members the elderly people need special attention because they are old there are many household chores which is to be shared by everyone this will make the burden less each chore is important and family members do these chores with love and affection we should be grateful for that now we will see keeping the house clean and beautiful children can you make out the difference between these pictures in the first one there is a neat and tidy house which is shown but in the next picture the house is not clean and there is dirt and litter all around the house so it is necessary to keep our house clean a clean and tidy house is pleasing if there is a mess then no one can find things on time it is the responsibility of every person to keep the house clean the litter and waste must be thrown into the dustbin time to time this will also help to keep the environment clean